Yeah, a equals six. Yeah. yeah, a equals six, but you need to use the value a put into the expression, and then you will get the angle of the arm. Um, right? Because it's two a, two times 12 but, plus 26, yeah. 12 plus 26, 38. Any question for this one? Do you have any question about how to solve the value of A? Ethan? Um, uh, I, I, di I didn't have a question, it's just I wanted to do it. I will show you. Okay. I will show you the steps, okay? So it is 3A plus 20 equal to a plus 26. I will show you two methods, okay? The way that Anthony present before and the way I used, okay? So first is the way Anthony show side. 3a plus 20 minus 2a equal 2a plus 26 minus 2a. So from this step, we can put a plus 20 equal 26, okay? So then we do the integer, which is a plus 20 minus 20, equal 26 minus 20. So on the left side, nothing, uh, no nothing, just the a, right? a equals to 26 minus 26. This is Anthony's method he used it before, okay? I will, then I will present my method. This is first method. And the second one, let's see. The way I, I am using, I move the variable in one side of the equation and move the things without variable to the other side of the equation, right? So the things with variable is two, uh, three A and two A. I need to move to, I need to move to a to the left side from from right to the left so I need to change the sign in front of 2a when I move it and then on the right we have number 26 I move the 20 from left to the right I also need to change the sign in front of it which will become minus 20 right so I only need to use one two steps to get a value of A instead of four, four steps. So that's why I introduced you guys method two. But if you are not confident with method two, use method A, okay? At least the method A can provide you uh, the right answer. Okay, so number six, number seven. Have you guys done this? Number seven. Three point. Isa, answer for number seven. Uh, I. Uh, I was just. I didn't do number seven. I'm doing it. Okay. Nicholas. I think it's the converse of the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular mm -hmm. bisector. Oh, sorry. It's the angle bisector. Yes, converse angle bisector. So, uh, so WZ equals WX. So WX is 3.05. Yeah, okay, 3.05. Number eight. X, Y, Z. Mm. Number eight is a little bit tricky.
Emily, do you want to try number eight? Um, I'm not yet number eight. Okay, Max. It's um X Y Z is is uh one hundred and twenty six. Yeah, one hundred twenty six. Why? Because um. ZW and XW are the same, so basically it's um angle, it's inverse angle bisector theorem, yes. And then um since what uh W WYZ is sixty three, WYX is also sixty three because of the angle bisector theorem. So we can just add those two together. Sixty three times two is one hundred and twenty six. So Angle X Y Z is also is uh, one hundred twenty six. Okay. Yeah. Clear. So because the condition, let's see what condition they provide us. The condition they provide us, which is X W equal to the Z W, right? And uh, we can see that uh, x, y, and uh, z, y, both of them are the distance from y to the other side of the um, angle, OK? So then we will know these two are also equal to each other, right? So we can use a, a side angle side to prove that uh, these two triangles, they are congruent. Then we can get these two angles are equal to each other. WYZ and uh, WYX, they are equal to each other. Since we know that WYZ is 63, so we can get WYX is also 63, which means XYZ is 126. Got it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, angle by sector and the uh, Perpendicular bisector. Okay. So next, let's see. Let's look at this one, this question. Let K and L be perpendicular bisectors of the side AB and AC of uh, ABC as shown. Okay. From what two points must every point on K be equal distance? And the next second from what two points must every point on L be equal distance? And uh, let O be the intersection of K and L. Why must O be on the perpendicular bisector of the BC? And if we draw a circle with center O and the radius OA, will the circle go through B and C as well. Why and why not? One minute to think about yourself. I will give you guys a little bit of help, okay? I will connect these two lines, these two points, and these two points. Okay. 